street cat named Bob. It's quite a good entertaining film. I actually quite enjoyed it. In places it is a little bit hard to watch, but it's not too bad because um, the story is well documented and is well known that he actually ends up being okay. But there are a couple of points in the film where you're thinking, oh no, what's going to happen? You know, things are really going bad for him. I really feel for the guy. You know, it's all going to shit. But that's all kind of masked by the fact that you know that eventually he's going to be okay and he's going to be doing a, a signing in Waterstones and appearing on This Morning. A TV show here in the UK and everything's cool um, there's loads of videos of this guy actually on YouTube if you just look up James Bowen or um, just look up a street cat named Bob or something and um, I found pretty quickly after watching the film a whole playlist that somebody had put together where they um, showed all the original YouTube clips and everything that they, they, they had found and stuck them all into one nice playlist so you can see him busking from like the early days when nobody knew who he was he was just some guy on the street with a cat um, to actually being well known and recognised and becoming famous um, it deals with homelessness and I think it portrays it quite well but obviously it is taken from the point of view of someone who is homeless who, and um, I think it does show that you know really well and how you know some people just don't notice you and you are invisible and, and drug use and the dangers of it and the reason people take drugs to escape their, their crappy lives and stuff and they just want to, some, to forget that they're in this shit situation, they become addicted and it's horrible. So yeah I think it's a really really good film and the cat is really good, I mean, I mean if this story wasn't real I don't think anyone would believe it's like oh you know this cat comes and rescues this guy, people are like nah that's pure fantasy, but obviously it is real, it did happen and the cat is still with him so it's still happening. I think it's a really, really, really good, entertaining, enjoyable film. I said there are a couple of places which get a little bit emotional and a little bit sad, um, but if you know the story, you know that everything is going to be okay in the end, then that helps you get through it. And um, it is such a, it is a good, enjoyable film. I highly recommend it. It's highly heartwarming and the way things go. And, and it, is, it is quite a feel-good film, a, a difficult to watch in places, but it is a feel-good film. I really recommend that you go and see it. It's well acted, it's well directed, everything about it is really good. And it has a few weird bits, it uses a little bit, and occasionally it uses cinematography, um, where um, you see first-person view from Bob the Cat. And this is quite interesting. Uh, I was thinking, oh, I really hope they don't do it too much. It did kind of remind me a little bit of the, um, there's, a, there's a TV show here in the UK. Where it hasn't been on for a while. It's an, it's an old comedy show called Peep Show. And everything in that show is first person. And uh, that's kind of like the thing for that show. And it did remind me of that a little bit when that first did that. You don't do it too much. I was a little bit worried thinking, oh, no, it's not going to do all this first person stuff from the cat too much, is it? But they don't overdo it. I think they get the balance about right because they're trying to get the cat's perspective and point of view across as well. But they do this with the first person and um, they don't overdo it. So I was a little bit worried at first when they started doing it, but it's not too bad. They don't overdo it too much, so it's cool. It works out really well, I think, in the end. The balance is quite right, um, quite nice. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good film. Go and see it. Highly recommend it. Um, it has a couple of little funny bits in it, but not too much. It's not like a comedy or anything like that, so it's quite a serious film. But there's a few moments in there which are slightly more um, light-hearted but at the same time thinking about it some of the more funny moments are actually quite sad as well um, it's kind of uh, there's a scene at New Year's and um, he, he goes around to see his dad and the cat gets away and he's trying to get the cat and everything's falling over and it's all a bit of a disaster and this is like this is a tragic sad scene but it's also funny at the same time that the fact that you know the, the things are falling over and the train falls down but it's also mixed with sadness the fact that he's been kicked out again and he's um the, the guy his dad marries is she she uh, I, I was gonna say quite a nasty word there but gotta remember she's a real person it's not like i'm talking about fictional character um but in the film she's not really portrayed as being very nice um but as you are a real living human being um i'm gonna bite my tongue a bit. Um, maybe the film was exaggerated a bit to make your character a little bit uh, more of a 
person than what you actually really are. I don't know, I haven't met you in real life. It'd be unfair for me to judge you when I haven't met you in real life. I can only go based on what the film is. Um, so, yeah, um, I, I did enjoy it. I think you should uh, go, go watch it. Definitely. I mean, it's been out a little while now. I think it came out last year. Was it last year or the year before or something? The book's been out a little while. Um, I haven't read the book. I actually got a copy of the book downstairs. I could go and read it, um, but um, I haven't. I just literally watched the film. But I really enjoyed it. So if you haven't seen A Street Cat Named Bob, I really think you should go and see it. It is a heartwarming, uplifting film. Um, but of course, there's still loads of homeless people out on the street. The, the guy in the film is a similar age to me, he was born in the same county, he says it's from Surrey, I'm from Surrey, so, you know, it could, could have easily been any one of us, any one of us could easily end up on the street being homeless, but not every single one of us is going to end up with a cat named Bob, he got lucky. And as I said, if, um, if you didn't know that this was real, then, um, You'd say it's almost something out of a Disney film. It's like, you know, this poor guy down on his luck. Then a cat comes along and saves him. You think that's that's straight out of Disney. But it is real. It did happen. There's loads of um, videos of the real guy on YouTube. He makes a cameo right at the very, very end. Um, the character, the actor, I can't remember his name. I did look up everyone's names before doing this. But I, actually, I, looked at, I went onto IMDb and looked up who everyone was about a day ago or two days ago. Um, after watching the film, because I watched the film a few days ago, and um, I can't for the life of me remember what anyone is called. Um, but the actual real guy, the real James, um, is right at the very, very end. He's in a Waterstones doing a book signing, and he comes along and says, I, I feel like I lived every minute of it, and that, that's the real guy. Um, so, yeah, really good film, highly recommended, definitely watch it. Um, I can't really fault it. I'm, I'm surprised it didn't get as many star ratings as it did. Like on IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes, um, it's, it's a little bit lower than what I thought it would be. I think, I think it should, uh, it deserves a slightly higher rating. Um, because I think it's a really good film. But maybe some people just don't like watching homeless guys who are addicted to heroin. But... It, it, it shows that when he's, he's trying to give up because he's on methadone and and he's tr and then he goes cold turkey he, he, well he, he's weaned up slowly then he gives up and you know it, it's harsh they don't go into too much graphic detail about how he's struggling to give it up but they do give you a flavor of what it is like and I actually know someone that was on um, heroin and methadone and um, she described it to me once what it's like coming off because she's she's a hundred percent clean now and and the way she described it to me uh, it just like made me cringe and just like oh, and um i didn't get that sense of cringe when watching the film um so but it is still very good it does give you it's like a snapshot uh it's like it's like a tip of an iceberg type film this is like just a tiny little snippet of what it's like to live on the street and what it's like to be addicted to drugs and what it's like to be absolutely desperate for food, for shelter, for anything. Uh, it just gives you a little flavour. It doesn't give you the full um, experience. It's just a little flavour of what it's like. But it's still worth watching. It's still a very good film. Very much enjoyed it. Go and see it. It will make you smile at the end. I guarantee that. Okay, I've got other film reviews coming up. I've got a whole bunch of uh, film reviews coming up, um, which I'm not going to tell you about now until they come out. Um, I've still got a challenge coming up, more karate videos, and I'm sure I'll, I'll do some more vlogs. I haven't done a vlog for a while. Um, I did August part one, and then never did August part two, because I didn't really do anything interesting. I actually started filming that twice, but then um, I just gave up on it. It's just like, this isn't working. We're like, halfway through September now, and um, I haven't really done much. Um, so, but I will get some more vlogs coming out and it goes somewhere interesting, do something interesting soon. So don't worry about that. Um, if you like my videos, subscribe, uh, click the thumbs up, hit the bell icon if you want notifications. I do all sorts of random things on here, as I just mentioned, not just film reviews. And um, I will see you later. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>